Hi there, Casey here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit uh, about Studio Dynamics. So this is very important information, whether you have a home studio or you are a piece of a team and a working studio, you need to know how to care for this equipment so that uh, it stays um, nice and solid for your clients. But then also, we want to have as much fluidity in the body as possible, and when we're on the equipment and pretty much dancing with it, it has to be just as fluid. So a few quick things about caring for the chair is, uh, first of all, obviously cleaning it between every client is really, really important, whether you have your clients have that as a part of their responsibility after they use the equipment or you do it for them. You want to have some spray cleaner and a nice soft cloth. Now the spray cleaner, um, because this is vinyl, you don't want any harsh chemicals to destroy the vinyl because it's um, expensive to replace. Uh, so we do about eight ounces of water and we have tea tree oil and we do you know about eight drops of that inside of here. The tea tree oil um, has wonderful antibacterial, antimicrobial properties, but it's also very kind to the, to the equipment because you want this to last a good long time. Um, so what we always do between the clients is obviously spray things down. Got to spray the seat. But the other places that you definitely need to hit is a foot bar, right? Because um, so many clients... Uh, use bare feet. Um, some people do toe socks, but you want to make sure that this is nice and clean and on the bottom and around the back of the foot pedal. Now, since this is a hollow area, this can be a, a very great place for dust and hair to be stored in the studio. So you want to make sure that you wipe out underneath the chair. And if you have an older chair, a lot of times there's um, a line for the hinge and that place gets very gunky. So you can always go in with a brush to kind of get into the places that really need to stay clean. So that's any moving part all the way around. But this, all this, oops, see, some already kind of came out of here. All of these areas just need to be cleaned out because we need this to move as fluidly as possible. Now, the springs. This is definitely an area that you need to check everywhere in the studio. It is probably the most dangerous piece of the studio are our springs. So you need to check them one at a time. Take them off and look at them. And the areas that you really want to see and check for wear and tear is here in this ring, you want to make sure that whether it's um, one of those little clips or these circles, that there's no wearing or indentations on this piece because that shows that we're losing a little bit of integrity of the support of the spring. And then looking at the spring as a whole without it being pulled apart, you want to make sure that there are no gaps. They should always be very tightly coiled. Um, and then you'll pull them apart and check them to make sure that they're moving uniformly because each and every space between these springs needs to be the exact same as you pull it apart and bring it back together. So I'm going to attach this here. So you always want to also test the equipment um, yourself. Another place to really test the equipment are these handles. So many clients rely on these handles to support them when they're doing bigger movements. And the chair, quite frankly, is a very loaded piece of equipment. There's lots of spring tension. So you want to make sure that the handles are put in place and every single time you use it, don't rely on these being stable. You always want to check them before a client starts moving. Make sure everything's tight. And then you can check them. Make sure you look down inside to see where the, uh, the little bolt guy is to make sure that it's not compromised. And then you'll check these holes. If these really start to wear, that means there's gonna be more wobble back and forth. Um, and we want these as stable as possible. So those are some tips for taking care of your chair and we'll see you soon.